Hello everyone, I'm Leonard Slatkin with a very exciting project about to come your way on Noxus. I've had the great pleasure of working with this company now for quite a while. All of our projects have been wonderful to do, but this time we have one that is very personal. The album is called Slatkin Conducts Slatkin. Many of you know that I'm a conductor. Some of you know I'm an author. But many of you don't know that I'm also a composer. I've been writing ever since, well, I can remember. This album is a collection of pieces of mine, but also works that are by my father and by my son. Three generations of the family represented. In my case, there are three pieces. One is called End Games, which is a little concerto for all the woodwind instruments that never get the solo spotlight. Piccolo, alto flute, bass clarinet, English horn, E-flat clarinet, bass clarinet, and contrabassoon. It's a kind of concerto grosso. Uh, it's meant to be lighthearted and has some moments where you might recognize a few pieces of music that are associated with those instruments. There's also Kina, a work I wrote about five years ago in memory of my mother and father. There's a story behind it, and that will be included in the program notes. And the large-scale work is actually the very first piece I wrote for full orchestra. Taught in the gardens of Gethsemane, O charm is more potent than the rapt Chaldi ever drew down from... It's for narrator and orchestra, and it's based on texts by Edgar Allan Poe, five different poems. The work is about a half hour long. It has had many performances over the years, the initial one being by Vincent Price, but other actors and teachers and scholars have done it. And for our performance and recording, we have Alec Baldwin reciting all the Nevermores. Also included on the album are pieces by my father, Actually, they're not exactly pieces, they're more arrangements. The last three years of his life, my dad, Felix Slatkin, was in the popular music industry as an arranger and a conductor for Liberty Records. Most of the arrangements he made, the physical music, was either lost or destroyed. However, my wife, Cindy McTee, has been reconstructing them from the discs and whatever surviving materials we have. Three of those examples are on the recording. There's also a piece by my son, who, as I'm talking to you, is 27 years old and beginning his career in the motion picture and television industry in terms of composing music. For my final concert as music director in Detroit, he was asked, unbeknownst to me, to write a five-minute piece for orchestra, which he conducted with my then orchestra and which took me totally by surprise. So we have his first representation on disc with In Fields. And there are a couple nice surprises as well. I thought it would be nice to, well, hear my parents, but a little bit differently. In the case of my father, there is a extract from a radio show where he's a violin soloist during World War II. My dad was a concertmaster and conductor of something called the Army Air Force Training Command Orchestra, and one of the transcription discs that has been left to us contains him playing an arrangement of a Brahms Hungarian dance. My mother, as a cellist, is represented by an extract from the actual recording session for the film score to Deception, a Warner Brothers film with Betty Davis, Paul Heinried, and Claude Rains. For this film, Eric Wolfgang Korngold wrote a remarkable score with a cello concerto in it that eventually turned into his actual cello concerto, given its premiere both in the film and in the studio by my mom. But what we hear is a different extract from the film, a moment early in the work where the cellist, represented by Paul Heinried, plays an extract from the last one of the Haydn D major concerto. 
So you hear my mother, and you hear it from the actual recording session, which gives us a chance at the very beginning to hear the composer himself, Eric Wolfgang Korngold, count off the beats before they start recording. There is also supplemental material, which can be available through streaming and download for you who happen to get the album. They will include my brother, cellist, playing Ravel Habanera, as well as a work by a fourth generation in my family, not the Slatkin side, the Aller side, a composition by Modest Altschuler, who was my grandfather's cousin. He was also a distinguished conductor, and he had, for this particular occasion, the uh, chance to be represented with his uh, soldier's song. Other such goodies are there as well. As I said, it's a very personal project, one which I'm most excited about, and I hope you'll find it interesting, entertaining, and educational from the point of view of people who want to know a little bit more about me and my family. Thank you for taking the time to be with me. I hope you enjoy the recording.